Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Mindy Banks. I'm the Flip Flop Chef and today I'm going to show you how to boil corn and we're going to do that in Pampered Chef's 8 Quart Brilliance stock pot and you might be thinking we, what's so special about boiling corn? So I'm going to show you a few really cool products that I think you're going to like to have and so the next time you make corn you'll have everything that you need. If this is the first time that you're joining, joining me for one of my videos, I hope you'll click the subscribe button and also go to theflipflopchef.com. Click the button at the top of the page to join my recipe community. I have thousands of recipes there and a giveaway every single week. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my eight quart stock pot on um, an induction burner here. It is almost to a full boil. So I'm gonna tell you what, we're, what I've done ahead of time so that you um, understand what um, you're gonna do first. And so um, you wanna bring your water to a boil. Don't salt the water. Some people suggest adding sugar to the water if you want your corn to be a little bit more sweet. I'm sure that person was probably from the South. I don't do that either, but we're just gonna just boil the water and add the corn. So I've prepared four corn cobs. So I've washed them and they're ready to be cooked, but I've gone ahead and added on these corn holders. So if you're not familiar with Pampered Chef's corn holders, these are pretty cool because you can actually boil the corn with the corn holders on. They come in this little um, container here. You, if you've been around with Pampered Chef for a long time, we used to sell corn cob knobs. They're exactly the same. They were green, these are gray, and they didn't come with the case. So now we have the case for you. You're gonna take these and they just, they're like a screw. You just screw it in each end of your corn cobs. You can also use these in the microwave. The maximum cooking time in the microwave is five minutes. Um, I don't believe these can be used in the pressure cooker. So boiling water and in the microwave, those are okay. And the whole point is that you do put these on before you boil them. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just transfer these into the boiling water. And it's great because it kind of gives me something to hold on to. And I don't have to worry about uh, burning myself while I'm putting this corn in the pot. I'm going to add the lid. So this does come with a nice glass lid. Put this on and then I'm going to set my clock timer for about five minutes. And I really like Pampered Chef's timer because you can set up to four timers at once. So there's four features, T1, T2, T3, T4. And <clears throat> we're gonna cook this for five minutes. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna get everything else ready to go. I'm gonna dry off this platter here. Um, our corn will probably um, be wet again. So um, I think what I'll do is, let's see, I'm thinking out loud here. Let me, because I don't want there to be a lot of excess water, I'm gonna put the corn cobs right on this paper towel for just a second after we take them out of the pot. And that way we'll kind of be able to get some of that moisture off before we add the butter. So for now, I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna get our corn butterer ready to go. And if you're like, what in the world is a corn butterer? This is actually a product that Pamper Chef has sold for many, many years, as long as I've been a consultant. So I'm not really sure what year it came out, but it has three pieces to it. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a half of a stick of butter. And this right here is just like a storage cap. So I'm gonna put that right back on for the moment. And you take your half a stick of butter, you drop it in, and then this little piece goes right on the top. And when you're ready to butter your corn, you've got your butter exposed here, and then your finger is gonna be able to press down as the butter melts. It's way easier than using a butter knife. So while we're waiting on this, so I've talked to you about the corn holders, the corn butter, I'm gonna show you the kernel cutter as well. This is a tool that's used to remove kernels from the cob. After we butter the corn, I'm gonna sprinkle some lemon garlic seasoning on top of it. It's just a really quick and easy way to add flavor to your corn so it's not just plain corn. So while we're waiting on this, I do wanna talk about the Brilliance cookware line. I have all the pieces, well, most of the pieces out for you guys to see. This one is one that I use very often. Um, I do like to use this one for boiling pasta. And the reason I like it is because it has these, whoops, didn't quite get that zoomed in there. It has these draining holes on both sides of the lid. So you'll notice that one side had larger holes and then the other side has smaller holes. So if you were straining something small um, like rice, um, this is gonna prevent you from losing the rice. And this side is gonna be for when you're straining things that are larger. So this is the size I use, side I use for pasta. Now, 
One of the things that I have on my Acor pot is this uh, silicone helper handle. This is great because um, these handles will get hot if they're on the stovetop for an extended period of time. So I love that Pampered Chef came out with these. They fit on the side and then also on the top. So I have two of them right now and I have them on my A-Quart stock pot right here. And this pot here is, I believe it's four quarts. So yeah, four quarts. I like that it tells me on the bottom. You'll notice that they have flared rims on both sides. So um, regardless if you're right-handed or left-handed, you could pour from either side. One side does have a larger opening spout um, the, um, than the other, so you've got some options there. Some of the things that I really like about this line of cookware, we have lots of cookware to choose from from Pampered Chef, but this is actually one of my favorites. My st the stainless non-stick skillets are my favorite of all cookware, but those are just skillets. And so when I need a stock pot, this is my go-to. I do have an induction cooktop, and so these work on induction, they'll work on any cooktop that you have. So I always hesitate to, to use the word induction because a lot of people don't understand that, and they wonder, do I have induction, do I not? If you don't know, you probably don't have induction. So induction is an electric cooktop, but it only works with cookware that's magnetic. So our signature line that has the removable handles will not work on an induction cooktop, but it does work on the majority of electric cooktops. So, but this cookware can be used on all. It can be used on gas, it can be used on electric, it can be used on your electric coil, it can be used on induction, whatever stovetop you have, this cookware is going to work for you. So, um, this is the four quart, and I use this one mostly for pasta. Um, we've got just about a minute left, so I'm gonna really quickly tell you about these pieces here. So this is a smaller version, has the same features, excuse me, with that glass lid and the same straining features, larger holes on one side and smaller on the other. And this one is a two quart. So we have the two quart, the four quart, and then this is the eight quart. We also have a couple of frying pans. So this is your eight inch and this is the 10 inch. So you have a couple of different options for the cookware. We have all these open stock. Some of them are sold in sets. So you definitely wanna check the website to make sure that you are aware of what is available in all of those places, in all of those sizes. So um, our timer's about to go off. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm not lifting this pot and taking it away from the stove, I'm just gonna put my little helper handle on the top of this lid. And by the way, the Brilliance Cookware has a 10 year warranty. So I love that it has a 10 year warranty. If you're familiar with our other pieces of cookware, most of our cookware has a lifetime warranty. This one is one that has a, 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 a shorter warranty, but honestly, I like it better than some of the ones that have a lifetime warranty. I've had these since they launched, a couple years now I'm guessing, and love them. You do not want to use metal utensils in the Brilliance cookware, it will scratch, but I don't cook with metal utensils usually anyways. All right, so what I'm going to show you, I gave these away recently in my recipe community. So if you haven't joined my recipe community, make sure you do because I give away a prize every single Friday and then I have other prizes scattered out throughout the year. Um, but one of the things that people were most surprised about was that these oven mitts, you can actually use them by putting your hand into the water. So that's the whole reason I'm doing this demo today to show you guys how you can place these into the hot water and pull your food out. Now, I would recommend that you rinse these off or wash them with soap and dry them before you do this just so that they are clean so that you don't have the germs from whatever else you've used it on. But you can actually put your hand down into the pot and pick up your corn. How cool is that, right? So how many of you would put your hands in a pot? And if you feel like it's too hard to just grab it with one, you can actually use two. So I'm just gonna sort of shake these off a little bit, place them here and here. And let me turn this off and look at that. I didn't have any water come through. I didn't burn myself in any way. I'm gonna take a couple more paper towels and just dry these off. And um, then we're gonna put some butter on them. Get this paper towel off the bottom here. I want these to look pretty, right? <laughs> so I'll take a picture too after I go off camera. So I'm only going to use the curl cutter on one side so I can still have a pretty picture, okay? So this is the um, corn butterer and you'll see, zoom in so that you guys can see this better here. Um, there's like a little indention here so that shows you where to hold this on the corn. So which direction? So I'm just going to rub 
all around. And then you're just gently pushing down on the corn butterer. And adding as much as you like. So get these nice and buttered. And then you can never have too much butter, right? True Southern girl here. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my lemon garlic seasoning and I'm gonna just shake some of this over the top. I'm not measuring. You can um, do as little or as much as you like. Hopefully I'm not getting too much steam from the corn. All right, this is my boy's absolute favorite <laughs> seasoning is the lemon garlic. So whenever I grill them chicken, usually a week, once or twice a week, I grill a bunch of chicken and I'm always like, what, what seasoning do you want? And they both in sync just say lemon garlic. <laughs> and so that's one that they love. All right, so let me show you, let me grab a small bowl because I didn't have that out. And I'm gonna show you how to use the kernel cutter. And like I said, I'm going to just do one side because I want to take some pictures. Um, I recommend taking one of this ends off when you're going to do this. So um, you start at the top and you just slide down just like this, okay? So I'm only doing one side because I still need a good picture of this, um, <laughs> this corn. But that's how you use the kernel cutter and you see I made a mess, I tend to do that. Um, but if you're doing this on a plate or in a larger bowl, you just kind of gather those back on the, on the plate. But um, that is the kernel cutter here. And I think that you guys will really love trying that lemon garlic rub for your corn on the cob. It's perfect for the summer. It's just a really delicious flavor. But look at this, you have your uh, fresh corn on the cob boiled in Pampered Chef's eight quart stock pot and retrieved with our oven mitt. So a few other ideas for using those oven mitts in a hot environment. It's great for pulling lobster out. I've never done that because I don't cook seafood or eat it. And so um, I rarely cook it, but I don't usually eat um, a lot of seafood. So um, lobsters, you can use it to take ribs out. You can also use it if you are picking up a large piece of meat from the grill. Just make sure that it doesn't come in contact with the flame because you don't want to burn this. It is silicone, so it's heat safe to over 600 degrees, but you don't want it to come in direct contact with the flame. Another thing to keep in mind, if you're going to be using these submerged in water, make sure that you don't ever use knives when you were holding something uh, closely with this because you don't want to cut the end off. Um, these are also machine washable, so they're very easy to clean. And um, I chose to do this video today because Everyone in my group was just so shocked about all the things you could do with an oven mitt that they didn't know of before. And another suggestion, if you have a large platter or a large stone or a pan coming out of the oven, you can actually use this as a trivet and it fits, fits nicely for some a long pan. So I hope that you guys got some great tips today and I have more videos coming and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye everyone.